guys, it's Huff. I am back again. I haven't filmed in absolutely forever. <laughs> Probably a month. Um, and I thought I would do a first impression, get ready with me with some updatey stuff and talk about some stuff that's going on and yeah. So this is probably going to be a longer one, so you might want to pause and grab a cup of coffee first, um, or a cup of tea, or a stiff drink, nibbles, um, yeah, and we will get into some first impression stuff. So, I haven't bought any primer recently, but I've had this one sitting in my collection, which I haven't used, which is the Australis Sealer Pools. So, we'll see what that one is like. Um, yeah, so those of you who follow me know that um, I got married at the start of November, um, and it was a lovely wedding. If you're on my channel, you've seen the video. Um, it's got colour to it. So yeah, it was, it was a lovely wedding, it was a lovely day, then we went on a honeymoon for like three days, and I have absolutely struggled to get back into normal life since then, <laughs> I'm just not, not functioning particularly well, um, hence why I haven't filmed anything in a month. Um, I had some pre-filmed stuff which I put up on my channel. Um, but, you know, there's always things going on, and I'm a bit behind on my filming. Um, I have, uh, there's a Sailor Moon, the Sailor Moon, one sailor, one month, one sailor century collab thing. Um, I haven't done the video for November, so I need to do something about that. And then, of course, I need to do the video for December. So, I need to do that. Um, I've got one or two tags that I need to do. Um, one of them is the old school tag. Um, which I thought was, like, really good. Yeah, so um, I haven't been on because I haven't had the mojo to film. I keep thinking I need to film and then I never get around to filming. Um, and there's been some stuff going on and there was a video that I was going to do. I'm going to try out the NYX um, Total Control Drop Foundation. Um, yeah, so I bought this foundation... Um, I'm actually going to do a whole video of the stuff that I got at the uh, Priceline 50% off sale that they just had. Um, so I tested a whole bunch of foundations and this one seemed to have the best finish. Um, it might be too drying, we'll see. This is in light. Instagrammy. It helps if you actually suck up a decent amount of product. Oh, not that decent. Let's get on my shirt. Um, yeah, so there was a video I was going to make that was a um kind of like a here's the tea um on a particular situation um so what happened is I well, one of the big updates is that I have um left the group Pantastic Ladies and I was originally going to do a this is why I left the group video 
and go over some stuff that was going on and, you know, share the tea, as they say. Um, and I'm not normally uh, one for, you know, putting drama on my channel. Um, and there were, there's a number of my friends on YouTube who are actually affected by some of the stuff that has been happening in the group. So, um, I was going to make this video. I actually, so far, I actually like that. The main reason I went for this one, this NYX Total Control, is because of all the foundations that I actually tried. What I actually did was I um, put foundation on the back of my hand. I wasn't testing for the colour. I was testing for um, like the dry down of the foundation. Because one of the things I find is that a lot of foundations transfer on me. And this was one that actually dried down. So that you grab your finger over it and it didn't move. Whereas all the other ones, after, like, because I walked around the shop after doing this for, like, five minutes, all the rest of them were still tacky, or in a couple of cases, still wet. Um, and I just, I, I can't deal with it. It might be a little on the pale side. I mean, I am pretty white, but it might be a touch too pale. I look really pale in the camera. So, um, yeah, I was going to make this video, I was going to spill the tea, so to speak, and then I uh, watched Wayne Goss's video from the other day, which I recommend you go and watch. I will actually go and link it down below. Um, this is the new Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Ivory. This is very pale. Um, I was using 15, which was the lightest one before this, um, and then I saw this one during the 50% off sale, and I was like, ooh, okay, I am going to try that. Um, obviously with this NYX, you could get a lot more coverage than I've gone for, like you can still see that face demon and that face demon, but I didn't want to go super heavy with my foundation. I don't actually like really heavy foundation. Probably from years of doing theatre, where that's what you get is really heavy foundation. Yeah, so in Wayne Goss's video, he talks about how um, we seem to take an enormous amount of pleasure in either destroying other people or watching other people get destroyed. And it kind of really struck a chord with me and I realised that's one of those things I really hate. Like, somebody does something wrong, somebody apologises, and instead of people accepting the apology, they continue to tear them apart until there's, like, nothing left. And as someone who has a fairly strong interest in uh, mental health issues, seeing somebody get destroyed because they made a, a stupid mistake, or they said something wrong six years ago, um, yeah, for, for a younger person who doesn't have as much life skills, that could be very dangerous. Um, there's the chance that um, they might do something stupid. Particularly if they're one of those kids who's just, you know, had a sudden rise to fame and suddenly they're just getting knocked back down again. I mean, it's called the tall poppy syndrome. Um, and it's, it's a really terrible thing. But it's got worse with the internet. Um, yeah, so it was, it's the trend that Wayne Goss thinks should stop is the destroying of other people and they're getting pleasure from destroying other people. 
because uh, when when you're a parent and your kid does something wrong and they apologize, you drop the matter. You go into something else. Um, I just use my Artist Studio White HD powder. I don't have any more powders. Yeah, when you're you're a parent, you don't you don't continue to destroy your child when they apologize for doing something stupid. You accept the apology and you expect them to do better in the future. Uh, you don't go back to something that they did when they were five when they're 15 and continue to have a go about them, like have a go at them about it and continue to destroy their confidence and who they are as a human being because they made a mistake because they owned up to the mistake. If someone doesn't own up to a mistake, that's a completely different story. Not that you should destroy somebody from that for that, but if someone has made a heartfelt apology, and this is the problem, is that people don't believe it to be a heartfelt apology. They're like, oh, you're just doing it for the views, or you're just doing it because management told you to do it, or whatever. You know, take a second and, you know, make a decision for yourself. Just because just all the trolls are saying that it's not a real apology. Take a second as a decent human being and make a decision for yourself. Um, I just used the Australis Tint My Brows brow job. Not going into any real depth with my brows. Okay, so for my bronzer, I'm going to try out this Australis powder contour. Yeah, I've used a lot of Australis so far. Anyway. I actually have two of these now. I didn't realise I had one. Yeah. I've been keeping like new stuff that I got in this bag that I got in one of the other parcel on sales and I hadn't gone through it all and put it in my collection and like labelled stuff and so and I think that was one of the ones that actually came in the last um my eye was in June the last makeup um, giveaway bag thing that they had. So this is the powder contour in Havana. So we're going to try this out. I feel like I've got a hair on my face. So the Fit Me is doing what Fit Me always does on me, which is creases. But I have little lines under my eyes. So, this Wayne Goss video made me realise that I really didn't want to make this video. Because whilst I was upset with some stuff that was going on, and some other people were upset with some stuff that was going on, um, I just didn't want to create any extra drama. I didn't want to, like bring any hate to me or the people who don't deserve any hate um, or any trouble. In essence, I, I have actually left the group. It's not like I'm talking about leaving the group. I have actually left the group. Um, and I have stopped all my projects that I was doing with them. Um, I'm kind of in a a period of reflection and uh, reassessing what I'm doing because I got accepted into university for next year so I kind of need to focus on that a little bit. Um, that doesn't mean I won't be doing some projects because there are some projects that I'm doing with some people from Geeks and Beauties that we're uh, in the process of kind of working out what we're doing at the moment. Um, but yeah, there was just, there was some um, double standards with the rules where some people were following certain rules and other people 
uh, weren't following certain rules. Uh, there seemed to be sort of like a them and us kind of attitude going on, which, you know, I don't, don't particularly enjoy. Um, and I think the biggest thing for me, too, was that um, part of the reason for joining a group like that, which is um, very heavily uh, YouTube-based, would be to grow your channel. And whilst I ended up with a couple of hundred extra people on my viewing subscription list, uh, I certainly didn't end up with anywhere near that number of people uh, reciprocating in any kind of way. Um, and, yeah, I just, I didn't feel a little support in the group, so I thought, no, um, I'm going to go where I feel supported, and I'm going to stay or stick with where I felt supported, which is more in Geeks and Beauties. Um, the sort of blush that I'm using is a blossom from Manikada. This came in, I don't know, flower box, pretty sure. Um, so, yeah, I just decided that the time was, it was time to cut my losses and move on. And I've kind of realised that full on project panning um, the way that the, the fantastic ladies tends to be is not really for me. Um, I've mentioned this a few times on my channel about how um, I want to curate my collection. I don't necessarily want to finish things, I just want to try stuff out and see if I like it or if I don't like it. Uh, I'm not sure which highlighter to use. I have to. I have. I have like three of them, but I have this one from Astralis, this is a baby doll, and I have this illuminating powder from NYX, um, hard choice, um, yeah, so, you know, I'm sort of in a time of reflection, so there is going to be a massive, um, empties video which will have all the stuff from projects that I finished that I hadn't already put in. Um, I'm going to try out the next one even though it's kind of green, green or blue. Yeah, so there should be a big empties video coming. probably be my last empties for the year. It means I've got to like work out how much I spent or used up or whatever because I haven't done that all year. <laughs> so there's a year's worth of that to do. Seems to be showing up more on one side than the other. So, you know, there's, there's, there's that happening. That's always fun. <laughs> it's always things happening. Um, yeah, so there are some projects that I am going to be doing in next year. Um, still trying to work out what they're, they're going to be at this stage. Because, you know... These things always take a little bit of time. Um, but really, for me, it's going to be more about like using different stuff in my collection. So I think the main thing that I will be doing is a, um, a monthly makeup basket. With a difference, of course, because I can't just do it the simple way. Um, so they will be themed. Um, each month, so it just depends on which month it is, um, and I'm going to try not to repeat too many products um, uh, two months in a row, unless I don't have anything else in that particular category, which seems unlikely, because I have a lot of everything. Um, that was, um, 
just a eye primer, which is not new either. That's the um, LA Girl Pro Primer. It's pretty much the only eye primer I have. See, that's one category where I don't have anything. Um, I am going to use this Wet n Wild palette that I won from um, Lena because I haven't actually used it yet. Just gonna set the primer down with the yellow. Yeah, so um, that's kind of what's been going on. Um, I I probably should have made more effort to make videos, but I was just not in the headspace for it. Wow. Uh, more pigment in that transition than I was expecting. <laughs> oh dear. That's, uh, yeah, probably because it was wet and wild, I was just kind of like, oh yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Doesn't tap off brush. Regrets it afterwards. Uh, so I've been the other thing I do in November of year is uh, the National Novel Writers Month, which means I'm basically trying to write a novel in November. Um, and I think this is year seven. Yeah, I think it was my seventh year. Um, and even though I I wrote for the first two days of the month, but I did not write on the wedding day or for the whole of the honeymoon. Um, and then when I came back, I think there was like another day there that, like, and I think I wrote again, like, I think it was like four days that I didn't write for, which um, is a big, it doesn't sound like a lot, and some people managed to technically win Nano in like the first day, but I'm not one of those people. It takes me all month. And I was behind the eight ball for most of the month <laughs> playing catch up. Um, but I got it done um, with a couple of days to spare in the end. Had a bit of a, a long uh, word sprint on um, the 28th and long for me. Um, using the bright ready Um, yeah, so I did get that done successfully in the end, which I was very happy about. I wasn't sure I was going to get it done, and, you know, even though it wouldn't have been the worst thing to happen in the world, um, it is something that's kind of important to me, and the fact that I've been doing it for seven years, and I've managed to finish every year. And strangely enough, this time, uh, last year, what had actually happened was I wasn't really feeling my story that much. Uh, and by the time I got to the 50,000 word mark, I basically just stopped writing. Um, I didn't actually finish the story. I just stopped writing because I just was not feeling this story. Um, and this time... Um, I kind of ended the story, but it is very open-ended, and there is a lot of uh, untied-up ends to the story, so that tends to make me think I'm going to need to uh, <laughs> go back and um, write some more at some stage. you know, write a second edition. Right. Let's make it more of a, a series. Which is not my normal um, MO. I just usually write it and that's it. Wow. I should remember to tap my brush off. Uh, 
dipped into the dark brown and ended up with far more than I expected. Um, yeah, so it's November has been kind of a complex month. So you'll notice, you know, again, if you're watching my channel, that I didn't update um, my Love It or Lose It project, even though the other people who were doing it did, because I literally don't think I looked at anything that I had had in the project. Um, I'm going to use the, the darker brown under my eyes. Um, yeah, I don't think I used any of them. I was just not, it was just not my focus for the month. Um, um, no, my head's always a bit of a battle. Um, and some days that battle is harder than, than others. Just using the yellow to soften these edges a little. I don't think it's supposed to be yellow, but it looks yellow to me. Um, so I'm also going to be doing a whole video, and there will be more nail videos coming. Um, I have another uh, Swatch My Collection filmed, I just have to edit it, which I haven't done yet. Um, so I am going to use... The goldy colour. Very nice. Um, the mobile lid. Is a nice palette. I like that. I can see now why so many people talk about um, those palettes being really good because that was really nice to use. Really easy to use. They blended really nicely. Um, I would just recommend don't be too heavy handed. Okay, for eyeliner, um, I have to keep stopping and fanning myself because it's kind of a little bit warm here and I don't have the fan on. Audis in Australia still sells um, liqueur beauty, as in like the makeup, which um, they apparently don't sell overseas or in every Audis overseas. But we get it in Australia, so um, I picked up some stuff the other day because they keep on changing what they have available. It's not like they ever have exactly the same thing. So this is the liquid, photo fit liquid eyeliner. So we can see what this is like. Oh, it's a pen. Okay. a really nice fine line. Now to see if I can do the same on the other side. Makes a mess halfway across eye. Good job.
close enough. <laughs> I'm thicken up this one slightly. That is, um, it's pretty good. It's not the worst eyeliner I've ever used. It's probably not the best eyeliner I've ever used, but it's certainly not the worst. Now I have to decide which one of these mascaras I'm going to use. I have literally have three of them sitting here in front of me. Um, I have two from Lucura. One is the Definition Mascara and one is the Volume Mascara. They sound like two mascaras that should be layered together. But what I'm actually going to use is the Australian or international version of the Lash Paradise. In Australia, it is called Paradise Ecstatic, ex but it is Lash Paradise. Um, it just has different packaging and has a different name. And we will see if this is as, well, if I find it as amazing as everybody else does. And no, I haven't curled my lashes because I don't know to use it. So this is in black, obviously. Interesting brush. Very large brush to the size of my eye. While I'm waiting for that to um, set before I put it on my coat, I have two Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks, um, which I got on clearance. Um, uh, one is called Nude Flush and one is called Possessed Plum. Clearance in Australia is not exactly cheap, unfortunately. This was still like nine dollars. So I'm gonna redo this mascara. Let's see how the second K goes. I want volume, but I don't really want to clump. Yeah, I could brush through my eyelashes, but. It's not a bad mascara, but I don't know that I am... Um, wowed by it. We'll see with the how it uh, behaves during the day. Okay, so I'm going to try the Possessed Plum. Because that sounds more like my colour.
it's a little bit patchy. Just, just a tiny bit. It's okay. And lastly, I am going to try this new setting spray. This is also from the Cura from the Photo Fit. Um, smell is not the greatest, but that is a super duper fine mist. Like, super duper fine. I don't think I've ever experienced a spray that was like that before. That was, I don't know if you saw it before, but that was, was kind of cool. I and yeah, it, because it's so fine, it basically dries like straight away. Normally I have to like rub my fan and fat my face for five minutes. Um, yeah, so that was kind of my uh, first impressions of a whole bunch of uh, new stuff in my collection, uh, some of which has been new for a really, really long time and I just haven't done anything about it, um, and a bit of an update. So if there's anything else you want to know that I haven't covered or anything, uh, hit me up in the comments down below and I will try to get back to you um, a bit like this. Death, but I do read the comments. I, I might not respond, but I do read every comment. Um, sometimes I'm just not in a very good place to be responding. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you want to subscribe, hit the button down there. Hit the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. I'll see you in my next video. So, yeah.